Hello everyone and now welcome to game 3 in this random random series infi this time playing orc and tho once again getting human this may be very good news for tho here who did end up losing game 1 followed up winning game 2 in a human versus human mirror match and now, so getting human for the second time, while uh, we have Infi getting uh, Orc for the second time. Is this going to come out better for him? We'll have to wait and see. Um, it's not the Night Elf versus Orc matchup that is so commonly played. Druids of the Talon versus Raiders and Spirit Walkers. No, this is not that game. And I am definitely looking forward to what we are going to be seeing from these players. Militia now on the move out across the field. Gonna try and scout out what his opponent is doing. However, the problem with playing random versus random is if you scout out your opponent, your opponent will also know what race you are. So that's something you have to be careful about. And then you kind of tip your hand to your opponent. But let's take a look at this. The militia is making its way over. It spots the peon. He knows that he can't build a scout farm. That's perhaps what he was looking to do there. Infi, uh, perhaps a little bit um, upset knowing that Tho got his favorite race or one of his main races again. Um, I wish I could see what was actually being typed here. As now we do um, have a scout farm being placed down at this 9 o'clock location. Peon, I believe, headed back. Blade Master now going to try and creep out this 5-3-3 or 5-3-1 creep camp. Um, don't quite remember which one it is off over there. Archmage is going to join in on the fight. And this is something I never quite understood. Why is there like a little bit of gap in between these trees? You're going to see the militia take it. Um, it's got to be something wrong with the map. Like, oh, are they going to go through that little gap right there? Oh, they, um, no, they're not going to go through the gap. Maybe they may have fixed. Nope, they are going to go through a gap in between the trees right there. And now we are going to see a bit of fighting going down. Ogre Magi. Um, going to get taken out rather quickly. It is a 5-3-3 creep camp. Blade Master already on its way over. Um, it did not use its wind walk until a little bit later. So, uh, Tho does know that it is incoming. And now all of the peasants are now trying to run back. One low hit point peasant in the or militia in the group. Is he going to be able to make it away? No, he is not. A second wind walk strike used there. As this peon or this peasant now in a little bit of trouble. All right. Is this Blade Master going to get his man? Oh, nope. Um, the grunt's going to take it. But you know what? That uh, Blade Master is happy nonetheless. Getting up to 50 experience without using any of his own creeps yet. All right. Oh, Archmage trips over a sheep. And now that Archmage is on the run again. Archmage trying to get away from that Blade Master. Blade Master just running. And this is, I guess, one of the most boring races you'll ever see in Warcraft 3. The running of the heroes as the Water Elemental now being dropped down. Oh, forces a cancellation on the Voodoo Lounge. That was a bit of a surprise. I would have thought that that Voodoo Lounge would have tried to stick around a bit longer. That Blade Master is going to be low on hit points for quite a while as that Footman puts himself in harm's way just to help out that Archmage. That's talking, that's talking about teamwork right there. Taking a sword for the team. Um, that is a very, very nice, very large knife, I might uh, um, admit. And I wouldn't want to take that... Uh, well... I don't know, maybe if I had 30 pounds of steel armor that it couldn't really cut through. All right, Grunt now taking a bit of damage as well. Footman now making their way over. You can see Voodoo Lounge, Barracks. We are already going into a stronghold now as we are going into some militia creeping off to the north. And this is just very, very hopeful or helpful for Tho, knowing that he can militia creep, gain experience on that Archmage while um, just occupying that Blade Master. You can see, now see that the Voodoo Lounge is going to take a bit of damage. And this is a problem. Infi, if he does not get a Voodoo Lounge up, that Blade Master is going to be constantly stuck at low hit points. Now going after um, some low hit point grunts as well. This Footman trying to get away the blade master will easily take it down but this has got to be absolutely frustrating for infi knowing that tho got human twice in a row but then again that is something that can occur blade master going after the archmage archmage does have a pair of nikes blade master has a pair of nikes as well and we are now in that foot race oh the blade master lost sight of the archmage trying to go up the ramp and then stopped following all right orc burrow looks as though it is gonna get 
um, completed, allowing for the training of this one particular Shadow Hunter. Archmage now comes back around. Footman takes in a lot more damage than it should be. Footman now trying to go after there's Dust of Appearance. And there's a huge miss, even though there was Dust of Appearance. Not quite sure why that happened. If you can spot the hero, why would you possibly miss? Four footmen missed their attack there. That's at least 40 points of damage uh, that should be dealt to that Blade Master. And I, I guess we have a little bit of a lucky break for Infi there. And um, now that he is going to finally have his Voodoo Lounge and perhaps get up his Bestiary as well. All right, we're going to continue this fight over here. Archmage. Um, Beastmaster now comes in. This is your typical Archmage Beastmaster push. Quill Beast trying to be brought over. Um, we should be seeing a Spirit Lodge come in here in just a moment. A Grunt now of low on hit points. Speed running into the Shadow Hunter has made its way out. Are we going to see that Shadow Hunter try to hex? No, we are not. And now this Blade Master finally gets taken down. And, and that was all because of the timing on Infi. Infi um, was forced to cancel his Voodoo Lounge a number of times. And by constantly canceling that Voodoo Lounge and not having, having Healing Sab as most Orc players do at that situation, he is in a bit of a bind. All right, is the Peon going to be able to get that final hit off on that um, Footman? The Footman does get taken down, I believe, by the uh, Chalk... Uh, chalk what was that? I don't even know what that weapon is called. A chakram? Um, it's like a long throwing blade. Okay, anyways, this Archmage now making its way back over. You can see that the... Um you can see that the Shadow Hunter is trying to get away. The Beastmaster unable to really catch up. Shadow Hunter pretty good decent, decent, uh, decent speed there. Blade Master quickly resurrected since it was taken down at level one. Archmage is still hiding off in the back over here. Perhaps we need to see uh, an arcane, sh um, arcane vault for human in order to heal back up. All right, Blade Master going after the Archmage. Archmage now in a little bit of a, of a run stance there, able to hide off over here. Burn the scroll of town portal. Beastmaster now heading back home. Scout farm still in position as the footman now running back off to the north. We are going to see um, an arcane tower now being quickly constructed. But more importantly, we don't have an arcane vault. And without that arcane vault, it may just turn into a caster war. Sorceress, slow, priest, and footman with Beastmaster summons against the Orc army. The Orc army should be going in for raiders and it's going to be going for double bestiary as opposed to... Wait a second, what is this? Oh, the Quill Beast is now attacking down this Orc burrow. The Orc burrow currently getting, um, um, what, repaired or built at this time. You pretty much know at this point the Orc burrow is about um, getting destroyed out at about the same rate as it is getting constructed, but it did take a lot of damage. Blade Master will be getting to level 2 at this 8 minute mark in this game. Um, it needs to find another creep camp to clear out and that's a problem. Uh, meanwhile, the Archmage and the Beastmaster are ready to go, raring to go. There is some Ivory Towers. No, not even picking up a couple of um, uh, Clarity Potions in order to have more mana. That is a surprise. Meanwhile, the Blade Master could get caught here. Oh, Archmage could try to get a fireball off onto the Blade Master in order to disrupt the healing. No. Wind Riders now in the air to try and clear out this. Though, um, Smartly already has a guard tower up and may want to get that masonry upgrade, but he is currently low on lumber. He needs the lumber for this tower rush. Are we going to see the Sorceress get taken down? It looks as though, yes, it will, as the Blade Master gets to level 2 just in time. Um, it looks like it was going to get taken out, and now we need to see some crazy healing come in as well. All right, there we go. Going to get you some healing salves. Try to get this army ready to go in this next fight. Peasants are in position here. Um, Water Elemental is already starting to attack the Orc Burrows. We can see Ivory towers could be placed down at any moment now and there you have it here comes the battle and where are those ivory towers do we have enough lumber lumber at 78 not that much one ivory tower going down gonna upgrade to uh gonna upgrade as well we can see that there is wind riders in the air the footmen i'm um, trying to fight back here the beast masters with those massive amounts of slow accompanied by the sorceress and the water elemental is trying to deal some damage you can see that this guard tower is just beyond the range here but it is going to provide some air coverage. Raiders now trying to come in as well. We're going to get some slow. Yes, another slow there. We can see Wind Riders being added. We are at 40 over 40 supply. And this is all going to come down to a bit of timing. 
so far there is another scout tower now making its way in to play it is going to be upgraded to a guard tower and finally this one is going to be upgraded to a guard tower as well oh wind riders quickly come in to snipe down one of those towers beautifully done as it was over the tower line and not refunding any of that lumber or the, uh, yeah not refunding any of that lumber because it wasn't canceled in time sorceress quickly gets taken down the guard towers are here water elemental is in position footman trying to chase the wind riders need to take down those guard towers and also need to be very cautious about these water elementals and quill beasts the sorceress continuing this push here all the wind riders are in the backfield no disenchants at all as the wind riders are currently supply blocking themselves until after an orc burrow is done oh blade master wow the blade master going after the beast master beast master finally gets taken down here as the guard tower is now gonna get completed all right the guard tower one guard tower up this is gonna be a permanent presence and a thorn in the side of infi infi uh, can pray all he wants but he's not going to be able to remove it unless he commits a lot to attacking so far the guard tower is just uh, focusing down the barracks here meanwhile the fight is going down over here as well footmen need to back away now that there is guard towers to try and fight next to i believe that is going to be the majority of the fighting all right the guard tower is going after the blade master blade master taking a bit more damage than he expected now this barracks taking more damage as well as the water elemental is in position to give more experience to the blade master all right what's going to be happening here the sorceress with their magic damage doing a lot of damage here to this orc burrow the orc burrow has to be extremely careful um constantly repairing but that also means that no lumber is currently being harvested this is a weird situation where the priest and the sorceress damage is actually high enough to make a difference speed scroll now being used in order to chase down a couple of units blade master commits to a fight there goes a priest as well three guard towers are up and you cannot afford to constantly use speed scrolls in order to get around all of that slow considering the slow there is already five sorceress here blade master quickly comes in and now what's going to be happening oh that blade master does get another sorceress down but we are still seeing more priest and more perhaps more sorceress joining in on the fight here blade master unable to catch up there is another slow i believe that was a potion of healing used right there as the blade master was able to finish off another unit all right barracks will get taken down but that is not a key building in this fight as infi can afford to lose this barracks he really needs more wind riders and and that's what he's really going for all right this guard tower attempting to take down this bestiary off over here the beast master has arrived you can see that the um, orc burrow is now fighting back against the guard tower here we're going to see more units making their way over and what is happening the blade master comes in gets a quick wind walk strike onto the quill beast the quill beast is going to get taken out by the orc burrow no experience given and now the guard towers are just exchanging blows here the sorcerer should be able to focus this down very quickly there it goes 42 over 40 what is happening off over to the north though one wind rider making its way off to the north perhaps to try to put in some pressure there is some a griffin aviary as well so we could be going into some dragon hawks quill beast now engaging meanwhile this one dragon hawk rider knows that yes he cannot do very much if anything here infi gonna lose this bestiary and now it is just gonna be a slow push to a very painful death for infi you can see a watchtower has been built we i don't see fortified buildings to try and protect these orc burrows and there is the game infi losing this third and final game in this best of three thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed game three in this series.